Hi friends, welcome back. So, we were discussing the world of fixed income. So, in the world of fixed income, so when an investor is looking to invest, so primarily, what are the sources of return? So, let's do a quick recap and we are going to go deeper into one very important concept of risk in the world of fixed income. But let's do a quick recap. Okay. So, in the world of fixed income, what are the sources of return? The sources of return are two. One is the coupon that you are earning when you have invested in that particular bond plus the price movement, the change in price, correct? The price change in price. So, it is a combination of two things, all right? The source of this, the source of, because every return has got some commensurate risk. So, there is no return without risk. So, if return is comprised of two distinct parts, so the source of return for this part is called the credit risk, okay? And the source of return for this part is called the duration risk, okay? Or it is also called interest rate risk, interest rate risk, okay? So there are interest rate risk. So these are the two very important risk elements in fixed income and which obviously risk is a source of return. So these are the two very important source of return. So as an investor, so we look at both of them. Today, we will go a little deeper into this, okay, and later we will come back into this, okay. So credit risk, which is little easier compared to this. So I want to spend a lot of time discussing the duration risk, all right. So we are looking forward to your comments in this video because I'm sure many of you will have tons of comments. We are looking forward to your comments and we will respond to each and every comment as we always do. All the best. So duration, the concept of duration. So in fact, I am going to pick up two very distinct examples of duration also at some point in time in this video and you will get a chance of going through an exact formula and how exactly the duration matters and so on and so forth. But as I said, duration has got two very kinds, types of durations. One is McAuler duration, McAuler duration, and other one is called modified duration. Modified duration, okay? So there are two kinds of duration. So what is McAuler duration? McAuler duration, McAuler is the name of it, in a statistician. Okay, so Bacola duration says that when suppose you have invested, let's say, 100 rupees in a particular bond, which is maturing in, let's say, three years and is also paying, let's say, 7% coupon. Okay, suppose you have invested 100 rupees in a bond, which is maturing three years, paying 7% coupon. Macaulay duration tells us the weighted average time within which the money 100 rupees that you have paid is coming back to you so it's more or less the break even period okay so since it is 3 years to final maturity macaulay duration definitely is going to be shorter than 3 years it could be one and a half two years or something like that in that band but definitely it's going to be shorter than 3 years so macaulay duration tells us how soon the money that you have invested is going to come back to you it's a very important uh, pointer, a data point in investments, like how soon the money is coming back, okay? It's also called the break-even period. Modified duration is, okay, modified duration, just to let you know, is your McAuler duration divided by 1 plus E, 1 plus E. So that tells you the actual the interest rate sensitivity, okay? So let me just tell you in simple terms what it means modified duration is the interest rate sensitivity sensitivity so let me take you through one very rough example and then i will take you a very detailed actual example from the markets to understand this concept a little better so the more time we spend on this i think easier fixed income would be eventually for all of us Suppose there is a bond one, okay, 
and then there is a bond 2 okay and let us see let's have one more bond 3 the face value for all these bonds let's say is 100 rupees okay coupon for this particular bond let's take it as 7 this particular one let's take it as 8 and this one let's also take it as 6 little less okay then let me look at the maturity date maturity date let us assume this matures in three years time this matures in four years time and this matures in five years time all right if if this price of this bond let us look at it this price of this bond that means at what price am i investing let us take it as the same let's not bring in any complexity here at this stage let it be assumed that the price of this bond is 100 okay in that situation what will be the yield of the bond till maturity if i hold on to this bond till maturity what is the ytm yield to maturity in this case ytm would be 7 because it's a 7 percent coupon bond priced at 100 the ytm would be 7 8 percent coupon bond priced at 100 the ytm would be 8 and 6 percent coupon bond priced at 100 the ytm would be 6 all right now the question comes what is the duration so i'm going to look at an actual calculation of your duration through an excel formula little later but the thing is this since this bond is maturing longer this one would be let's say d3 this would be d2 and this would be d1 okay i'm not getting into the calculation at this stage i will do a calculation later but the durations were d3 d2 and d1 since the maturity is longer here d3 would be bigger more than d2 and d2 would be more than d1 okay however the coupon and this i cannot say with entire certainty right now since the coupons are different okay so the duration is a function of both your maturity and coupon okay okay and ytm so all the three things so it's a function of both maturity coupon and ytm but obviously if the maturity is longer duration is going to be longer if the coupon is less duration is going to be more and if the ytm is less duration once again would be more so as the yield keeps going down duration keeps going up so please remember this number one Number B, as the maturity goes more, duration increases. As the coupon keeps increasing, duration decreases. So these are the three golden stuff that you should generally keep in mind that this is how the duration keeps changing. So as an investor, if I have to take a call, like, okay, interest rates are, let's like, say, for example, decreasing, okay? So for example, this particular bond, I have invested when the yield was 8%. And I feel that over the next six months, yield is going to come lower. 8% is going to become 7.75, then 7.5, then 7 and so on. Then I would definitely look for this kind of, sorry, this kind of bond. As the yield is coming down, I will select this one because duration will keep increasing. Because if the duration keeps increasing, the interest rate sensitivity is higher. So I will make more price gain. You remember the change in the price is directly proportional to the duration okay change in duration or the change in the ytm okay so as the duration is longer i will make more prices more price gain the second one is if i feel that interest rates are again declining and i have an option between two bonds let's say this and this this one is maturing in five years this one is maturing in four years i would definitely select this one because if the maturity is long duration is again long the third one if the coupon is more duration is generally less coupon is more generation is generally less so between these three bonds i'm not getting into calculation not very sure we have to do the calculation to figure out since the coupon is higher here compared to the coupon here 
So let me make it a little simple here. Okay. Let me make it. Let me say coupon is 7 for all three of them. Okay. If the coupon is 7 for all three of them, then I am absolutely confident that now between these three, if this particular one has got 8 and this particular one has got 8, obviously if the coupon is higher, the duration definitely could be lower between these two. And if the so the, let's say coupon is 8 here, coupon is 9 here, and both of them maturing in 4 years time, then this particular one definitely would have a lower duration. Okay. This particular one, if the maturity is more, duration could be more. So let's say between these two bonds, now let's say both of them have coupon of 8, and this one has got a coupon a duration of 5. This definitely has a longer maturity, duration would be more here. So keep in mind, if the maturity is longer, duration is longer. If the coupon is higher, duration is lower. And if you are looking to make little more money when interest rates are declining, then definitely let's keep identifying bonds which have got a higher duration.